Hello and welcome. Let's talk about ectopic pregnancy. So, what is ectopic pregnancy? An ectopic pregnancy is the one in which the fertilized ovum is implanted and develops outside the normal uterine cavity. The normal site of implantation is anterior or posterior wall of the uterus near the fundus. Sites of implantation It may be extrauterine or uterine. Extrauterine includes tubal, ovarian, and abdominal. In case of tubal, Ampulla, isthmus, infundibulum, and interstitial sites are present. In case of uterine, cervical, angular, cornual, or caesarean scar. In case of abdominal site of implantation, it may be primary or secondary. Where secondary may be intraperitoneal, which is common, while extraperitoneal and broad ligament, which is rare. Now, this is a picture showing sites of implantation. Now, risk factors of ectopic pregnancy. History of PUD, history of tubal ligation, contraception failure, previous ectopic pregnancy, tubal reconstructive surgery, history of infertility, ART particularly if the tubes are patent but damaged, IUD use, previous induced abortion and tubal endometriosis. Etiology, pelvic inflammatory disease and iatrogenic causes like contraceptive failure, tubal surgery, intrapelvic abscess and ART and others like previous ectopic pregnancy or developmental defects like elongation, diverticulum and accessory ostia. Now morbid anatomy, changes in the tube, implantation in the tube occurs between two mucosa folds, decidual changes are minimal, blood vessels are eroded by chorionic villi and tube is distended on implantation site and finally tube rupture occurs when the muscles and serous are maximally stressed and undergo necrosis. Changes in the uterus, the residual develops all characteristics of uterine pregnancy except that it contains no evidence of coronary villi. Now, fate or mode of termination. There may be tubal mole, tubal abortion, tubal rupture, tubal perforation or continuation of pregnancy. Classification. Acute, tubal rupture or abortion, unruptured, subacute, chronic or old. Ruptured ectopic pregnancy, clinical features, symptoms. The clinical triad of symptoms include a short period of amenorrhea of 6 to 8 weeks, Acute severe low, lower abdominal pain, scanty amount of per vaginal bleeding, and others, which may be vomiting, syncopal attack, etc. Signs On general examination, the general look includes lights quiet and concise, perceives and looks blanched, pallor, features of shock like rapid and fever pulse, hypotension, and cold clammy extremities. On per abdominal examination, abdomen is tense, humid, and tender. No mass is usually felt. Shifting dullness is present, gut may be distended, and muscle guard is usually absent. On per vaginal examination, it is not usually done because of the fear of precipitating more bleeding and extreme tenderness. But if done, the findings are vaginal mucosa is glanced white, uterus seems normal in size or slightly bulky, extreme tenderness and palpation of the phonix, no mass usually fell through the cervix, and the uterus floats as if in water. Unruptured tubal ectopic pregnancy. Clinical features include symptoms like presence of delayed period or spotting with features suggestive of pregnancy, uneasiness or one side of the flank which is continuous or at times colic in nature. Signs like uterus is usually soft, showing evidence of early pregnancy. A pulsatile, small, well circumcised tender mass may be filled through one phonic separated from uterus. Differential diagnosis of acute active pregnancy includes acute appendicitis, ruptured corpus luteum, twisted over in tumor ruptured chocolate cyst and perforated peptic cyst. Investigations General investigations like hemoglobin percentage, TC, DC, ESR, blood grouping and r stepping. Special investigations include ultrasonography of whole abdomen which shows empty uterine cavity with gestation sac in the adnexia and hemoperitoneum. Color Doppler sonography can identify the placenta shape as ring of fire pattern. Pregnancy test with serum B HCG beta SCG, coldocentesis, laparoscopy, dilatation and curatis, and laparotomy. Treatment In case of ruptured active pregnancy, immediate hospitalization, resuscitation of the patient simultaneously, and prepare the patient for laparotomy. Within resuscitation, call for extra help. Open two IV channel by two whiteboard cannula. Send the blood for grouping, cross matching, and screening. Arrange blood for transfusion, start running fluid, and catheterization. Surgical treatment. If feminine is complete, unilateral sulfingectomy and ligation of other tube. If feminine is incomplete, unilateral sulfingectomy and preservation of other tube for further reproduction. Now treatment. In case of unruptured ectopic pregnancy, expecting treatment where only observation is done. If 
SCG level less than 1500 international unit per liter, sex size less than 4 cm and no feature heartbeat or no evidence of bleeding and rupture or on TBS. Medical management includes drugs like methotrexate, KCL, hyperosmolar glucose, prostaglandin, and actinomyc actinomycin. Indication includes patient hemodynamically stable, SCG level less than 3000 IU per liter, sex size less than 4 cm without any cardiac activity, and there should be no intraabdominal hemorrhage. Now, surgical treatment is done if case is not fulfilling the criteria of medical therapy or beta SCG level are not decreasing despite medical treatment and there is persistent fetal cardiac activity. Options include linear serpingotomy, segmental resection, femoral expression, and serpingectomy. Serpingectomy, it is a surgical procedure of phallopian tubes. End of the topic.